Hey, welcome back and in today's video. Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star just released a highly anticipated uh, makeup and merchandise release collaboration thing. They released two eyeshadow palettes, one called uh, Conspiracy and another one called Mini Controversy and a collection of lipstick shades, as well as a line of Shane Dawson merchandise. And they released this on Jeffree Star's uh, website, merch website, Killer Merch. Uh, needless to say, it broke the internet. Let's talk about it today in Exploring YouTubers. Everyone knows that Shane Dawson documentaries break record numbers and throwing Jeffree Star into the mix is just a recipe for something we've probably never seen before. For the past month, Shane Dawson has been releasing installments in a series titled The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star. Each of his five episodes were around an hour in length collectively and have more than 90 million views, which is pretty crazy. Not only were these videos hyped around Jeffree Star, but the videos also serve as a massive promotion for the Shane Dawson's collection following its creation from start to finish. Now it's important to note that the buildup around these products was absolutely perfect as Jeffree Star is one of the biggest beauty gurus and he has had several highly successful makeup launches and most recently has been in the middle of some pretty drama fueled controversies as well as past controversies that seem to have added to the anticipation. This paired with Shane Dawson releasing something that he's jokingly teased about in the past with an astoundingly high interest from fans and his own similar past pickles very similar to uh, what Jeffree Star has went through has converted itself into successfully one of the greatest advertising campaigns i ever seen. It all launched Friday, November 1st of 2019. It was so popular that the website stopped working due to high amounts of traffic in the server. And it caused uh, Shopify to glitch out, leaving shoppers Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star very upset. <laughs> Shane Dawson saying, I'm so sorry guys, we're trying everything right now. A retweet from Jeffree Star saying, you guys crashed the site. Shane's in a ball crying on the floor, working on getting everything back up. Another tweet saying, I'm so sorry, my heart is breaking. I don't know what to do, but Jeffree's team and the Shopify team have been doing everything they can. We're all in the room pulling our hair out to make this work. This is what a lot of people were getting. Thanks for your order. We're getting a lot of orders right now. You should receive confirmation by email or text soon. If you don't receive it in the next hour, let us know. Due to an unexpected technical problem, JeffreeStarCosmetic.com is temporarily unavailable. Please check back in a few minutes. Another, I just screamed in a conference call and now I'm crying because I feel bad that I screamed. It's been a rough two hours. Some people were angry saying things like, this is so frustrating Shopify, I've literally been trying to spend $425 on makeup for over an hour. Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, at this point, I'm not even sure I want it anymore. Some were jelly bellies, jealous of those that had already gotten their products. Me seeing people actively checking out and even ordering multiple palettes. Other people had more luck going to physical locations, but it soon went around that they were also selling out. I went to Morph and the bundles, mirrors, half of the lipsticks, and bags were sold completely out. It was supposed to be a week's worth of products. Mm. But if you got lucky, you got to see Shane Dawson's mom racing to get her son's new product. Even crazier is that since all this was sold out, there were actually people that knew and anticipated that this was going to be a big launch and actually sold some on eBay. Current bids at the time were pretty high. But while all this was taking place, something else was happening on Twitter. That's right, you guessed it. K-pop stands. And additionally, we had those completely confused about what they were talking about. And with confusion comes the Repzilla channel. And I know, I'm glad that you've asked these questions. And since it's relevant to how they broke the internet, we're going to explain to you what those fire-fueled K-pop stands were talking about and why. Do you remember MySpace? Me neither. But it's where 
Jeffree Star amassed a cult following along with accusations of being R-word. He used his following to somewhat create a music career that stalled and eventually led him into cosmetics. Fast forward now, and he's one of the most important influential beauty gurus in the community. Jeffree Star was previously known for his deep friendship and feud with Kat Von D, who is a reality television star, makeup, and tattoo artist. After they fell out, he developed a very public friendships with other gurus such as Laura Lee, Manny MUA, and Nikita Dragon. They're featured on one another's channels, and Jeffree Star and Manny collaborated on a collection for Jeffree's makeup line. But like Kat Von D, they had a falling out, and many people wasn't sure why. This was mirrored when Jeffree Star said, with my ex-friends, people still don't really know what went on. In that four-part, hugely popular YouTube series, also shot by uh, YouTuber Shane Dawson, the first part of the series, called The Secret World Jeffree Star, has more than 46 million views currently. Now, this also plays a part into like how they broke the internet, and I guess his old friends saw this, and uh, they didn't like it none too much. YouTuber Gabriel Zamora tweeted, bringing up Jeffrey's past, stating, Imagine standing R word. Following up with saying, Honey, every time I was around him, he would say something R word about black people. And I know what you're thinking. Where did Gabriel Zamora come from in this situation? Well, I asked around. Apparently, he likes to hop into uh, controversies at random. I'm not, I'm not sure. Kat Von D had made similar accusations that Jeffrey was R-word, prompting a 15-minute video from Jeffrey Star uh, where he talked about his past and how he was uh, very apologetic for the things that he said and did. Mm. And I have talked about this before on MySpace back in the day. I have addressed this on Snapchat. I have talked about this on Twitter in the past, but that is not good enough because for everyone out there that supports me, that believes in me, I owe you the truth and I owe you an apology. I am so sorry for my words. I am so sorry for everything that I've said in my past. I can never turn back time and take those moments away. They happened, I have owned up with them, and I have lived with it for a long time. And every time that they get re-dragged up, it just makes me just sad because I don't know who that person was. Shane Dawson had to also apologize for past R word after appearing in blackface in a couple of his earlier YouTube videos. And uh, you can see they have sort of a shared past and this is what the k-pop stands were talking about as for why well that's uh their, their k-pop stands that's that's their thing so to me it's pretty obvious how they broke the internet uh, just an accumulation of years in the making and pat pickles that pushed them further farther faster when you get two huge internet icons together like this each highly successful in their respective fields and you just kind of put them together and their massive communities add a little bit of intense buildup and you have a force to be reckoned with. Almost as powerful as the K-pop stands. <laughs> but uh, as interesting as it is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative render interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up, thumbs up. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. So I did a thing. This was the first time that I ever wrote my script um, on the computer. And uh, I, I'm getting ready to do my blog type thing. I've been talking about, I teased earlier. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm doing it on like a Google Doc, so we'll have all references and links and everything like that. And I'm put, I guess I'm uploading it, uh, I did upload it to my Patreon as like a little ad added extra plus thing. And I don't know if this is a thing I'm gonna continue to do, but I thought it was cool for people to kind of get uh, to be able to read the script before the video actually came out, so I thought that was interesting. So if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, thanks. <laughs> but uh, if you have any other topics that you want me to talk about, just let me know in the comment section below. If you have anything about this video in specific that you want to reach out that's a little bit more uh, than, than the comment, then a I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just reach out to me in the Twitter. Don't forget, we're trying to get the Instagram to 12,000 followers. Uh, we're at 11,000 point two. We're almost there. I guess I'm going to do uh, a Q&A on that. Um, we we released a uh, a new piece of merch from artist Ghost Chili. It's called the Ghost Chili Rep shirt. You need to check it out. This is it right here. The Ghost Chili Rep Traplin T. That's really high quality, by the way. And I got mine in the mail on the way, but look at this design. It is the coolest. I mean, I got you can get it in multiple different uh, products. You can get it in the pillow. 
I think you'd even get it in like a fleece blanket. Uh, but I got my shirt on the way and I'm very excited. It's a piece of art that was done by Ghost Chili on Instagram. You guys, I'm gonna put her uh, link in the description below so you guys go give her some love because she did a really good job here. Uh, also, I wanna say, I wanna thank my patrons. I'm gonna put my Patreons uh, at the end of the video. And this video in specific, I wanna dedicate it to Donna Scott. Uh, she uh, got the $100 tier on the uh, Patreon, first one that's ever done that. I really appreciate the support, Donna. It means a lot. And, uh, with that being said, I know that you're repping for repping your gang. And how do you do that? I'll go to the subscribe notification channel, be in the comment section to every single video because I'm going to be there. Greg, the cat's going to be there. And the rest of the Red Sox community as well. And I expect to see it too. This channel loves you. I messed up that. Too much coffee.